What's up, Pisces family? Empress 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. And we're going to jump right in, guys, okay? Holy angels and spirit guys, give me clear, concise messages for my Piscean gang, 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 gang. Give us exactly what we need to know. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? It's general, guys. You know that, okay? So it may, it may or may not resonate. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You know how it goes. Cross watchers, put yourself where you belong in the story. All right, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please become a part of our family. Take a look around. If you're new, um, welcome. <laughs> we do cut up. That's your one and only disclaimer. All right. So stay at your own discernment, okay? Uh, also click the like button, guys, okay? Support the channel so that this video can circulate around the algorithm to those who need it. Also, we're gonna jump right in, okay? I don't have no announcements today, y'all. I'm not running my mouth, I'm jumping right in, okay? <laughs> Let's see what we get. What do we have for my Pisces? Ooh, that was fast. All right. So we have someone who thinks they're a little bit clever, huh? How'd that work out for them, Pisces? You said, girl, well, they not fucking here. <laughs> how you think it worked out? <laughs> Damn, access revoked. That's how it worked out. Wow, you can't make that up. Okay, so somebody really thought they had the best of you guys. Okay, they did, they did, they did. They were very confident in their ways of doing things. They were very confident in what ha had already transpired in the relationship versus where things were going. Um, they definitely didn't see it going here. That's for sure. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. If you didn't already know, if you don't know, now you know. They didn't know. Now they do know. They do know. Okay. Um, with that exclamation mark there, that definitely signifies surprise, you know, like surprise. You know? Wow. Mind control. So what were they trying to do to, con why are they trying to control your mind? This could be someone who definitely at the start of meeting you felt like you were a strong individual. The only reason why you would ever think that you need to control somebody's mind is because you think that their mind is a bit stronger than yours, right? It's power struggle. Um, it's all about power. That's what I'm hearing. See? And, and now we have this. I feel like this card has come out for you quite a bit, uh, especially back in April. So you're still not talking to this person. You left them on red. You might be eating popcorn while you're looking at their messages pop up while the phone is ringing. I mean, it's a show. It's a show at this point because they definitely thought, they thought they had it. They thought they had this shit in the bag, okay? <laughs> they did, y'all. Wow. Wow. And now you're just kind of watching them tap dance. You know what I'm saying? You're watching them stumble all over their words, stumble all over their feelings. This may be a side of this person that you've never seen before because I feel like this person, um, with the attempt to keep control over other people, they do temper their own feelings, right? This is not somebody who is over emotional. They don't share how they feel. They keep all of their emotions and their motives, is what I heard, close to the vest, you know, close to their chest. Um, they don't like to show their hand, but they certainly like to learn other people, right? They like to learn your triggers. They like to learn, you know, what you're thinking, what you want out of life, what your dreams are, you know, what your weaknesses are, um, what your vulnerabilities are. And it is with the attempt to kind of keep control over you. Like, really? This is your fault, Pisces. Okay, don't beat me up. It's not a lie, y'all. My cards don't fucking lie. This is your fault. You made them think that they were in control. Is that a lie? It's not a lie, y'all. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I think that you already you already knew what was up. You did. You already knew what was up with this person. You knew that it wasn't going to last very long. You did just, you know, you entertained the foolery just for a little while. Um, so while you aren't surprised by what they showed you, because I feel like you, you already had your good eye on this person. You have a really good judgment of character. So it wasn't surprising to you that this person turned out to be, you know, a manipulator, um, somebody who was a little bit less than smart. Okay, I'm not going to call them dumb today. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to try not to. you like, do it, girl. Do it. No. <laughs> this is um, this is full of invalidation. See? Exactly. So this is someone who would not validate you. They did think you was fine as fuck. But this is somebody. See, these are the type of people. All right. Now, this sounds like a very specific message. These are the type of people who encounter people who are fine as fuck, but because they don't quite, they're not quite secure with their self being able, they're not secure within themselves that they would be able to hold on to you by just being normal, normal. So they do shit to kind of control you. This is someone who tried to convince you that, you know, you weren't the shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. So this is, they invalidate your feelings. They invalidate, um, the things that you would 
discuss with them. Maybe you discuss some of your aspirations in life. Maybe you discuss with them some things that you've accomplished and um, you discuss with them just different aspects of yourself. This is not somebody who, this is a very disagreeable type of person. Like they like to argue, like they like to debate, like they debate for sport type shit. But the debates that they have is normally to try and like bring you down a notch. They're like trying to humble you or something. Wow. So y'all was out here flossing. Why are they trying to humble you, Pisces? What y'all out there doing? You know what I'm saying? What are you out here doing? You're like, I'm just doing me just because I'm fucking fantastic. What does that have to do with a, a insecure person? Absolutely nothing. It has nothing to do with um with them. The only thing that it has to do is, you know, they, they kind of fell in love. Like they fell in love. So this is somebody who who definitely is not emotionally mature, guys. Okay, maybe they've never possible they've never been in love before, right? It says, "Is this the way love feels?" So this is someone who has definitely had people in the past that they were able to control. Okay, like puppets. All right, they pull puppet strings. You know what I'm saying? They like to keep full control over their feelings and over the other person's mind. Okay, um, and this is with the attempt that they won't fall in love. Okay, this is someone who tries to keep themselves from falling. This did not work, okay? They have fallen, guys, all right? Face down, okay? On the pavement, smack dab, they fell on that ass. You actually dropped them. You dropped them. You was just like, you know what, just bye, all right? Oh my gosh, the silence is really getting to them, guys. It is because they kind of felt like they had this under control. It is this shock factor that is having them, you know, like, hello, hello, you still there? <laughs> Are you still there? Wow. Is this the way love feels? So this is someone who invalidated you, but now they're kind of seeking validation because they have caught feelings. They have feelings, y'all, even if they didn't express it. Like I said, this is somebody who doesn't express their feelings, but now, but now, you know? Why? Why didn't they? See, people always think they have all the time in the world to get this shit right. And I get the idea that you, you definitely were giving this person a shot that they did not deserve. They didn't deserve it, y'all, okay? All right, now that we got that settled, this person definitely, they fucked it up. They fucked up the only opportunity that they possibly ever would have had with you. Um, trying to play a game, like just trying to play, you know what I'm saying? Trying to play things right, trying to be strategic. <sighs> this is a person who's never played chess a day in their life, yet they're trying to be strategic. And you have run for the hills. You see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? You have ran for the fucking hills. You're not gonna deal with this. Um, you stayed around long enough. That's what I heard. You stayed around long enough. You, you've seen all that you need to see. It's like, I need to see no more. I'm good. So they didn't even get like a, dis they didn't get a disclaimer about your cutoff game. That's number one. Damn. They didn't get a warning about you dropping them off the fucking building. They didn't get a warning, guys. You just, you just kind of, kind of pluck them off the side of that building. They, they feel like they're free falling. You know what I'm saying? So this is why all of the, um, kind of analyzation they are analyzing things at this point because they definitely thought they had this guys they did they thought they played it right they played it before but they never played with the pisces <laughs> you wasn't playing the same game you wasn't playing the same game y'all you wasn't you wasn't you wasn't they came to a gunfight with a knife i mean you know what i'm saying like wow they were so arrogant and cocky. They were so confident that they had things in the bag that they never even saw the move that you were making coming. They never saw it coming, guys, okay? It hit them like nothing else. You see what I'm saying? So they thought that this was just a pause. This came out in the reverse. Um, so it's been a bit of time, guys. They're, they're about to really start obsessing over this in five, four, three, two, crazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? On your hands is what you're gonna have, guys, all right? All right. You ran faster than lightning they didn't see they never saw you leave okay so you disappearing it happened so quickly they thought it was just going to be a bit of an interlude because i feel like this is somebody who you've given a, a couple chances okay i don't say that i'm gonna say that i'm gonna leave that alone okay they had several attempts and they actually thought that they had more attempts you know what i'm saying this is somebody who think that they just had an endless buffet okay of fucking with you I don't know why they thought that though. Okay, it says pause, timing, and then now this is you. Look, didn't I say that? 
Wow, didn't I say that at the beginning of the read? Like, you're just, this is you with your popcorn, you know what I'm saying? You looking at your phone like a movie out this bitch. This person is losing their shit. If they have not already started blowing you up, or if you have them blocked, is what I heard. They are blowing you the fuck up. They're trying to get in touch. Wow. So, what are the habits that they have that were more than likely won't? What habits do they have that possibly will never change? what we need to know wow three things why wow, this person got all kind of habits that's not look i'm not gonna turn them around yet but these are all habits that they have not changed guys three fucking cards are you kidding me so this is the person who definitely oh wow yeah they don't change this person remains in denial this is somebody who's been operating this this way their entire life they didn't just adapt this they came out the womb playing people they came out the womb as a player you know what i'm saying they they just they never ever have been any other way in their life than this so this is why all of the questions it's a lot of questions here y'all i don't even i don't know why they didn't validate you at all okay even if you were calling them out on their shit okay you're telling them the truth it's like i'm trying to help you out i'm trying to tell you how you are so that you can fix this and they never did you gave them enough time. You gave them enough chances, but they thought that they had more. Okay, they thought they had all the time in the world, y'all. I'm gonna be very honest. I don't know why they would think that. I do. I do know why. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I know why. You made them think that they were in control, Pisces, and that's that on that, okay? Beat me up, I don't care. That's the truth. You made them think. You was just like, let me just see how, let me just see, let me just see how dumb people are. Let me just see what, let me see what you're going to do here. Um, because you already had an idea of the kind of person that this is. And now they feel like entrapped in, in the thought of you. All right. This is an irrational individual. It also says reasoning at the bottom of this card, along with begging. Okay. And bargaining. Now they want to kind of come in and see like, are we good? Like, what's up? What's going on? And it's because they got no, they got no eviction notice. <laughs> They didn't get evicted from the building, y'all. You dropped them off the roof. You ain't giving them none of their shit back. It was just like, no, you don't reside here anymore, okay? You no longer have a place of residence here. Fuck out of here. Damn. And so now this is what is really making them feel entrapped because of that, guys, okay? Um, and also because they, they never had to really deal with this before, all right? Somebody running away from me? These are things that are never going to change about this person. They're always going to be irrational. This is an individual who is always going to be irrational. It's very irrational to think that somebody would give you all their the time in the world, their whole life, to get shit right. Are you dumb? You're like, yeah, girl, he dumb. We already know. Yeah, yeah girl, she dumb. We already said that. <sighs> why? Just why? Just why? Just why? Okay. So... This is how they view you now. <laughs> Do I even need to say? I feel like they they like, damn, Pisces is such a fucking savage. They might be playing victim now, guys. All right. This is someone who's irrational. Let's keep that in mind. We are dealing with a Egypt. All right. <laughs> yeah. They view you as a burden. Like you've made this heavy. Like, how dare you? Like, you know what I'm saying? They feel like you put all the responsibility of the relationship on them now. It's quite delusional guys i mean it's it's entertaining actually you're getting your whole life you're not tripping on nothing you sipping on something okay you're not tripping you're not um they definitely will be back there stressed the fuck out they're burnt out almost guys just about they're right on the brink they're like right there right there with it right there right on the brink of losing their shit okay going postal out this bitch wow it says burden so this is very heavy on them right now guys okay they feel closed they feel entrapped in this they can't release themselves energetically and you're just chilling <laughs> these are how this is how they view you they view you as the burden like you're the one who put the burden on this relationship um because you did make them think that they were in control pisces and it is because of that that they now feel like you you're the one who switched up you're the one who like tore your mask off. You're showing them like, where, where's the old you? Oh, you weren't real. You were fake. But it's like, no, I was giving you a chance, dummy. Like, oh, I said I wasn't going to call them dumb. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help it. I can't help it. Are we good? Are you dumb? <laughs> like, why? Wow. Damn, I thought I had more time. They've had enough time. They've had enough time. 
and you couldn't run fast enough. You couldn't find the exit fast enough. You didn't even find the exit. Some of y'all jumped out the building. You got your ass in a parachute and you got the fuck out of Dodge. They never even saw you left. You left in the middle of the night. Okay, you, you, you snuck away. That's what they feel like. They feel like you snuck away. Wow, and it's just silence now. You've just revoked the access, okay? This is someone who definitely enjoyed having access to you, your your assets is what I heard, y'all, okay? I don't know what kind of assets these are, but they had some true blue benefits, guys, okay? They had benefits that they were not afforded in other connections, and they just kind of felt they had all the time in the world to just enjoy that, all right? Um, they actually tried to control it by minimizing what you were doing. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of person who, where you do something for them and it's just like, but I did this and I did that and I did this. Don't I deserve reciprocation? And they're like, I didn't actually do that. That's this kind of motherfucker, y'all. Okay, that's this kind of person. Be very clear. All right. So the way they view you is you're a burden now. You've burdened them with feelings. How dare you bur burden me with feelings? I don't have feelings. This is a very cold, detached type of person, guys. They will never admit. They're in denial. They'll never admit that they that they love you, but they they do. They're in love, guys, okay? All right. Now that we now that we got that cleared up, there's that. And they view you as someone who is happy, like you've just moved on without a hitch. All right? And it is because of what I said, guys. You already knew. You already knew. You already knew. You did. You was just seeing what they was gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You was giving it was like a trial run type shit. You know what I'm saying? And then you you decided that the appliance no longer worked for you, and you re, you sent that shit back. Okay, return to sender. You want a refund? Can I get my money back, universe? Damn. Can I get can I get a refund, please, on my time? Shit. Wow. All right, guys. Look, we're going over to the extended. Okay. Okay. I I definitely can't wait to look into some new love for you because. I feel like you've already taken control of this. You've gotten this under full control, even though you made them think that they did. That's fucked up, Pisces. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. This is why they think that you uh, were wearing a mask, because they definitely thought that they were in control. You definitely made them feel like they were in control. And it was just so that you could see what they were really about. You know what I'm saying? Give it, um, it is really easy to see what a person is made of when they feel like they have a little bit of power. This person felt like they had power in this relationship, so they totally took advantage of you. And that's just that, right? So it's not fucked up. I take that back. It's not fucked up because they showed their true colors. You just did what you had to do to make sure that you were bringing the truth out of this, the truth of who they are, right? Just like they say, when you give a person money, it really shows, right? Or when you have, when you're successful, um, it really shows to look back who wasn't fucking with you before you were successful. And now if you're successful, you like, you weren't with me shooting in the gym. How are we friends now? You see what I'm saying? All right. So in the extended, we're going to look at their next steps, their intentions, of course. I want to see what kind of karma is coming to them. Okay, guys, I just want to be, I want to be a little bit messy. Let's see what kind of karma they're going to face for this. And I want to see what your lesson is in this. Okay. And we're also going to focus on what you need to uh, kind of remove as blockages to propel you into union with your divine counterpart because I don't feel like it's this person. Um, I also want to see what subconscious blockages um, you may have that have the same people showing up. Now, that's a very specific question. I feel like that came divinely guided. Some of you have been asking that. Why is the same person showing up? Different face, same person universe. What the fuck are you doing with my life? All right. We're also going to look at what your next cycle of love, what kind of energy is going to be in your next cycle of love and what your focus needs to be in order to catapult your finances into oblivion. You want your finances to be out of this world. OK, that's financial freedom. That's generational wealth. We want to see what you need to focus on to get that to happen in the least amount of time. All right. So click that like button, guys. Click the subscribe button. OK, and I will see you over at the extended. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be linked down below in the description box. OK, let's cut up a little bit.